Hi, good morning. Today is the 22nd of July. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 8. The wisdom of the wise is to give thought to their ways, but the folly of, of fools is deception. Jesus revealed himself to, to many, but then some people didn't want to go towards Jesus and to walk with him. Because Jesus being the light of the world, when you approach him, you are going to see the way you walk. Some people, some religious people, didn't want to approach Jesus. It is written in John chapter 3. Because Jesus being the light, the light of Jesus revealed how dirty their clothes were. And then, uh, because religion cannot cleanse you. So, they didn't want to approach light. And then they, just, they were deceived by their, their lack of wisdom. And sometimes people walk in ways that they know is going to lead them to death. But they don't want to turn back and walk with Jesus. And they prefer to, re, to keep on walking in, in, in a way of death and of darkness as well. So the, wise, the wisdom of the wise person is to give thought to their ways, to ask God to show them how to walk. To walk with Jesus is the best thing to do. That's why Jesus says, I am the way. He is the life, he is the, the truth, but he is also the way. It's very safe to walk with him because we have no idea whatsoever of what is waiting for us in the future. You don't know what's going to happen to you tomorrow. As you walk, you have no idea where you are going. But Jesus can see all. He knows all. So it's much safer to ask him to guide us in this life. So we will be walking with him. There is an interesting story in the, um, in the book of Genesis. In Genesis chapter 24, when Abraham will send his servant to his main servant to look for a, a to find a wife for his son Isaac, and in some verses in Portuguese they they say that this man was from Damascus, and the person that comes from Damascus is called in Portuguese the Damasino. So that was my ancestor going to find a wife for Rebecca. Then he prayed. The servant prayed, Lord God of my master Abraham. Make me successful today and show kindness to, to my master Abraham. Imagine going to a country like uh, Iraq today, Iraq, to find a, 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 a woman to marry Isaac, who was living in Canaan. And that wife has to be from Abraham's family. Can you imagine? It's in mission impossible. It is impossible. That's why he's going to, he's praying God, that God is going to show him the way to go. He's thirsty because that's a very dry land. And then he's going to arrive at this village, going to arrive at this well. And guess what? That's where Abraham family went to for water. That's the well where this young lady called Rebecca used to go to fetch water. God guided that man on the way he should walk, on the way he should go. And that's why he's going to worship God and thank God for what God had done for him. And his mission impossible became possible. Verse 26 says this, Then the man bowed down and worshipped the Lord, saying, Praise be to the Lord of the God of my master Abraham, who has not abandoned his kindness and faithfulness to my master. As for me, the Lord has led me on the journey to the house of my master, master's relatives. God sent him to the well, the right well. How many wells there were in a country as big as that? Many, many, many wells. Maybe thousands of wells. He arrived without internet, without an address, without anything. 
he arrived at the right place. You will arrive at the right place if you let Jesus guide you. We keep on saying that righteousness is the way God walks. God walks in righteousness. What about you? God bless you.